Hey, all this is Matt Vulcan Gas Fire. Just a quick uh, update on the uh, on a new system we're we're working on. This is a, a combined uh, wind and biomass system. Um, what we have here is the the wind turbine from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, very good quality. Um, we're very pleased with uh, with their their product. Um, this is the uh, the wind turbine. Um, some assembly required. Um, over here we have the the charge controller. This will be for the the wind wind side of the system. And then what we have here is the a 12 kilowatt charge inverter from Ames Power. Uh, this will be for our side of the system. Um, the generator will get plugged into to this, and this will charge the battery bank from our generator side. And then. Uh, this will uh, uh, be a combined system. The the battery bank will share the uh, the input from the the wind wind side of the system along with an input from our side of the system from this charge inverter, and then from there it'll uh, combine it and go into your uh, um, electrical box. Um, this is where you tie it into that, and then this is your. Uh, DC uh, leads for the battery bank. Um, along with this comes with a, uh, a battery uh, um, support system. You get a, a battery monitoring kit, an enclosure for your batteries. You can it holds up to nine um, standard uh, batteries. I think they're eight by seven by ten, maybe twelve tall. Um, those are still on the shelf. I haven't unboxed that yet. And then a uh, basic wiring kit um, to wire the whole thing together. And then along with that, you get our uh, Flex R1 gasifier with the Predator uh, generator set up. What I have here is the uh, uh, intermittent load. This is about 1500 watts. And out here we have the the uh, Flex R1 with the Predator. Uh, this machine is uh, for Jason McBride down in Texas. He's a member of the Drive on Wood Forum. So uh, this is our Predator. Sensor uh, adapt, adaption. It's a custom manifold with the uh, servo controlled uh, valve. And, uh, this disconnect system is connected to the gas fire. And then our controller. Yes, a gas fire can be very hot, so keep hands away. Pretty difficult to see the flare, um, even with an overcast day in Michigan. So this here, um, this is the turnkey package um, that goes with the uh, the uh, the combined uh, the wind setup. But we also sell it just like this. This is in, in just this configuration. This is the uh, the Flex R1 5K unit. So you got five kilowatts output, 
um, from the generator running on sig gas but just to note this is a 11 kilowatt continuous output generator running on gasoline so with a, we drain the power by 50 percent um, um, we even gave it a little so actually this generator is probably capable of around six six kilowatts running on, on the sing gas so um, this system com uh, with the combined wind wind setup and and the uh, charge controller that boosts the output of this system up to 12 kilowatts so so by adding in the the Ames inverter this charger charge controller that boosts your output up to 12 kilowatts Um, we will, uh, or we can offer this now um, without the wind turbine. If you don't want the wind turbine, it'll save you um, maybe a thousand bucks. Um, you can just get the inverter with the battery uh, system um, with the, the Flex R1. Um, I don't, you'll have to contact me on pricing. I'll have to do some number crunching and figure out what that, that would cost. Um, well, something else we got going uh, as we're bringing this machine back online. Um, you know, our big big systems have not gone away. There's, they've just been put on the back burner while I've developed uh, our manufacturing processes. Um, you know, just one thing at a time. So um, we've gotten the manufacturing process down for the Flex R1. Uh, turnaround times are uh, three to six weeks now instead of months. So now we're bringing this one back. Um, this one's getting a lot of revisions for this year. Um, Self-running systems are uh, going to be one of the key features. Um, just push-button operation. Uh, even though this does have uh, the manual ports, um, this does have revisions for, for the automatic system. So you'll just push a button, it'll fire itself up, auto flare, and then uh, engine, and then it'll do an engine cycle once it's ready. So all that will be coming this year. Um, we have a new enclosure that we're working on and a new hopper that will add some, uh, some fuel capacity um, and also simplicity to the unit and it will uh, make the machine uh, look a lot better than they have in the past. Um, this gasifier here is a 2015 model. Um, that whole unit is getting uh, revised. Uh, Basically, it's going to be the Flex R1. We're just going to scale it up. So we'll have the ash clean out, like this unit here. Um, we'll relocate the, the clean out for the cyclone to the front. And this, uh, you know, it'll also have the removable jetting. So I'll keep you updated on that. Oh yeah, and then and this here is uh, another company we're launching. This is a, a CNC machine that we're uh, developing. Um, hopefully we'll have this complete sometime mid this year, uh, maybe around June, July. Um, we'll have this machine all proofed out and this will be available um, as well. Um, pricing for this unit is, uh, we're thinking around 4500 uh, without uh, torch. Um, with a hypertherm torch, you're looking at about 7500 and that'll have the, the torch height control and everything already be a, basically a turnkey system. Um, so that, that's something uh, coming up. Um, now for this project here, the, the biomass um, wind uh, turbine combo system, um, I'm going to be uh, featuring this on the Drive on Wood Forum. So if you uh, want to see some updates on this, uh, you know, feel free to go over there and check out the Drive on Wood Forum. Um, a lot of good information on there about wood gassing. Uh, the guys are driving around trucks on this on, on a gas fire on the Wayne Keys um, system, which is a pretty uh, well-proven machine. So you can check that out along with uh, many of, of us others that are on there. Um, it's a good uh, good forum and some good good people over there. So uh, I guess that's it for now. Um, keep checking back.
Thanks a lot.